Well, now that I survived my cancellation, it's time to get some actual progress done because today we're completing the super Easter egg. And that's because in our last video, our top comment was from Jackson saying AK-47, don't care what you do, just do the AK-47. So that's what we're doing today. And since they said they don't care what we do, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade stamina up real quick. We'll get this up to tier five. But before we hop into the game, if you have any weapon upgrade or challenge suggestions, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first. That way we don't get any repeats. Okay, so a few things here before we actually start getting into doing some Easter egg steps. First of all, the Forsaken is the very last Easter egg we have to complete. And once we get this done, we'll get the super Easter egg, meaning that we'll get all the way up to purple tier every time we join a game. So that'll help out a lot with our grind. But you might notice here, hold on, let me hide my camera. And we have a nice looking AK. Now this AK is a Mastercraft from the, the Necromancer bundle, I'm pretty sure it's called. But uh, actually, this was a gift. It, it, it was a gift from Hell's Broadcast. If you guys have been around the streams, you've probably seen them before, but I just want to give them a big thank you for uh, gifting me this bundle. I uh, definitely didn't have to do it, but it was a nice little surprise when I hopped on to get the AK leveled up. And that's where we have our next issue. The, the top comment for our last video was literally just to do the AK, and I almost messed that up. Because every time we go to level up our weapons, I'm always doing it in Outbreak. But, you know, I wanted to change it up, because every time I'm doing it in Outbreak, people are telling me, you know, why don't you just go ahead and do it in Onslaught? It's so much better, and it's so much faster. And that's where I'll say, you're wrong. Because my initial plan was to get this thing leveled up in Onslaught. And while Onslaught's pretty decent for leveling up and getting camos, it's mainly better for getting camos than it is leveling up. Because in like two games of Onslaught, I went like 20 surges on both of them, maybe a little over 20. I think I made it to 30 on one and then 19 on another. And I only got like 22 levels from it, but got like 1500 kills or something like that. So we don't have a whole lot of camos to do today. And on top of that, I'm still not even level 50 with this gun. So we're not leaving the starting room until I get it up to level 50. So I ended up having to stop playing Onslaught and switch back to Outbreak because you get so much more XP for like a quarter of the kills. But that's not to say Onslaught's bad for leveling. I just think it's a little bit slower and I get way too much progress done for like the unique situation that I'm in. Because if you're just sitting there grinding out Dark Aether, you don't really care if you're getting camos while you're leveling up. But for me, who likes to stream getting the levels for it and then record getting the camos, it puts me in a tough situation when I have like 99% of the camos done for a weapon before I've even started recording. Because I, I already have the rotten camo for this. I think we're less than a thousand crits away from getting all of our, our critical kills done. And we might be less than a thousand pack-a-punch kills away. So I think we're going to get our AK done relatively quickly here in this game. Which honestly probably good for me. Because if we start doing this Easter egg on a higher round, I'm probably going to end up failing it. And I have not done the Forsaken Easter egg in a bit. So I'm going to be a little bit rusty on these steps. Oh, and there's level 49. We just need one more level. But at least on the bright side here, we can come out of the first room with at least a decent amount of points to get through the map. I just realized how big of an idiot I am. I didn't grab death perception this whole time. I could have been racking up some salvage while we're doing this. All right, we need to get those last level soon because it's getting a little rough in here. Of course, we get our first down without even leaving this first room. Do we have enough scrap to even buy a self-revive back? We do not. So uh, let's try to play a little more carefully, huh? Maybe we should get some armor. That might help us out a bit. No, no, no. Go to the decoy, please. Oh, this is fucked up. All right, you know what? Actually, I, I wanted to go down here, you know? I wanted to die, because, you know, once you get to, like, round 15, round 14, that's when the XP starts to go down in the first room of Forsaken. I, I wanted a quick little reset to get the XP faster. And then I can say that we did our Easter egg flawless if I don't go down again. Look, I'm willing to pretend that none of that happened if you guys are. There's level 50. All right. We're good to go. Let me grab a little death perception before we take off. Because again, I forgot to grab it at the start. And let's start up this portal. All right, the teleporter's done. But I'm going to try to get a little more funds really quick. All right, we got 25,000. I think that's good enough. Let's head on through. And we will grab Jug because we already have a track record for going down in this game. Almost went down right there as well. Um, I need ammo. Let me grab that. Oh, seeing Weaver here is kind of sad now. Because we, we spoke about the MW3 trailer in our last video, but it kind of got overglossed by me being canceled. But seeing presumed to be Weaver there dead, and now seeing him here talking, kind of sad. I saw some people saying like, oh, maybe it's not Weaver. Maybe it's uh, a dude wearing some sunglasses. 
I I like the wishful thinking. I'm pretty sure Weaver's toast. He could have uploaded himself into the Aether or something, whatever device was in the middle of that table there. But I got no idea what's going on with that. I'm thinking he's dead. Oh, Requiem. But it could be Peck. Peck also has an eye patch, as you can see right there. Would be pretty sweet if that's Peck. But I think I'd want a more satisfying death for him. I really don't want to see him go on like a hero arc like everybody's uh, claiming he might. I might throw a temper tantrum if he becomes a good guy. I don't want to have to like Peck. I like having my antagonist. But let's try to put together this teleporter before we get fucked up. Please repair it. Let's go. Come on, open up. Let me in. Let's see if we can take out this abomination. This has got to be like the tankiest mob in this game. Only one kiss for you today. How much damage are we doing to him? Not a whole lot. We even have like a, a pseudo ammo mod on this with a little dead wire and it's still not doing anything too crazy. Maybe we should sneak in an upgrade. Get a green and some armor. That's two heads down. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought. And isn't the abomination like Peck's creation? Didn't he make this thing? I want to see like where he got like Margwa DNA to make it. That'd be a cool parallel or tie into this game. But now that that's dead and we're into the observation tower, we can actually start up this Easter egg. Let's lift the lock down. And then we have to lift the second lock down. There's a nice little button right here. Now the Easter egg can start. Look at that. Zykov coming in. The biggest catfish ever. Dude's going Super Saiyan on us. The most insane glow up. Forty years here is four hundred years in the aether. That's kind of wild. Zykov kind of made the Aether his bitch. Like he went in as like a, a scientist or something. He came out like this. Like he got this big, but somehow lost his legs. This is like the world's strongest crawler. Oh, do it, please. Let's go. This is my favorite cutscene in the whole game. Just seeing Peck get the shit slapped out of him. And then just how casual Krevchenko over here is just one-shotting all these zombies. This was so hype the first time I saw it. This is like the Cold War Avengers moment where Max is like, yeah, fuck it. I got crazy powers. Let me take this thing on. And it absolutely does nothing to him. The Forsaken do not care. These are like bug bites. Well, let's go ahead and grab Pack-A-Punch. Kind of need that. Please get to the town square. We're coming, Maxis. Don't you worry. I need to remember how to do this Easter egg. I, we need the Crystal Axe. I don't know how to build the Crystal Axe, so I'm going to do some trials. I think it's the one wonder weapon I don't know how to build. I think we need to get like a fire gem from uh, like a Tempest dying to either like a Molotov, a flamethrower, or just like a ring of fire. And the rest of it, I don't know. So let's hope we get lucky on our trial here because I don't want to have to look up a tutorial. I'm going to try to do as much of this from memory as I can. But while we have a second... Look how sick this gun looks with the Pack-A-Punch camo. What a fucking good looking Mastercraft. Say what you want about bundles, you know, love them or hate them, but at least you're getting like your money's worth in Cold War. You're getting a cool operator, a, a sick weapon with like a unique inspect, multiple other guns and like watches or accessories or whatever, all for like, like 2,400 COD points. Pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I hope in the next Treyarch game, they, they kind of do the same with the bundles. Obviously, I hope the zombies and everything is good before they, you know, work on bundles, you know, separate teams and all that. Kind of a, a tired argument. I just want something with the, the same level of detail as this. Actually, you know what? We're at the box. Let's hit the box. One time for the one time. Maybe we'll get the Crystal Axe. Nope, a Diamati. I have no idea how I'm gonna get these melee kills here. So I still don't have my melee upgraded. Maybe I should have done that instead of stamina up. Oh wait, insta-kill? Here we go. That's how we do it. Let's not die though. We don't need to be going down again. There we go, we got legendary. Come on, give me the crystal axe, please. Quick revive. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but they did give us a fire sale, so maybe a blessing in disguise. Is there gonna give me the crystal axe right here? Nope, another AK. We're rocking the double AK right now. AMPs, don't necessarily want that either. And the LC-10. Well, back to doing trials, I guess. Oh, and there's Legendary. All right. Come on, game. I know you want to help me out here and give me the Crystal Axe. Nope. PhD. But we got another fire sale, so I guess we'll keep trying the box. This is going to be a struggle. Oh, the nail gun. 
pretty close to a wonder weapon. M16, not terrible, but the opposite of what we're looking for. And an LMG. Perfect, you know? Give me all the weapons that I need. I might as well just go and buy all my perks so it just can't keep giving me those. So I have a feeling the next one we do is going to be Tombstone, and I'm going to be pissed about it. We'll grab that, 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 and we're one off. Oh, of course, we got an Abomination. Fantastic. Exactly the guy I'm looking for. Actually, you know what? We need you. I need you to run into this wall. I forgot about this step. Good thing we got him in this exact room. Oh, and there's two of them. The more the merrier. Please run into me right here. I'm begging abomination. Charge at me. There we go. Let me grab that. And actually, we might have gotten really lucky with having this blueprint. Because I'm pretty sure we need dead wire to use that in the arcade to activate a machine. So we can use the RCXT to get a part for this neutralizer. But now I'm going to grind these trials out until we get our crystal axe. Please game help me out. Oh, let's go. Whew. Starting to get a little worried there because whenever I, I don't want the wonder weapon or I don't need it, I always get it from the trials. Whenever I need it, it's like impossible. Now we can actually start doing something. All right, what steps can we do here? We have a little meteor. We'll stay right here. I think we just need to get kills by it for the little like wave thing around it to go away and honestly it, it makes for a pretty decent grind spot at the moment oh there we go i think that's it so i will grab that i think what we need to do how do i switch the firing mode on this oh it's up on the d-pad we need to shoot these little orbs out of existence and it's spawning in nothing but elites i can't seem to get this last one there we go i think now we can break this open there we go. And that should give us a crystal. Let's see if we can throw this in his mouth. Go ahead and scream. There we go. Eat it. Now I don't remember if I kill him or if I have to bring him somewhere. I think we just might have to kill him. Let's find out. There we go. Dead. Did he drop our thing? Oh, he did. I'll take... Oh, wait. No, I need a fuel tank. So we still need to create that somehow. And I'm starting to get a little lost on the Easter egg. I'm going to go try to do the little dead wire thing down in the arcade. And if that doesn't work, I'm looking at a tutorial because I'm lost. All right, let's see if this works. I'm pretty sure it's right over here. There we go. It's filling up that arcade machine with power. And let's use it. Let's hope the zombies don't take us out. Okay, the round ended. We're fine. We need to go over here to the TV place. I think we need to go behind the counter. This metal grate needs to go. We come into here. Uh, we jump up, right? Oh, shit. I think I fucked this up. I don't know if I made it through. Oh, it, it worked. It worked. We got our monitoring device. Now we just need one more thing. And I'm lost, so I'm looking up the tutorial. Hi, guys. Mr. Okay, I think I was starting to do this a little bit out of order, but we're already in the spot where we need to be at, and we just need to activate this machine. So let's turn it on, and now we just need to kill zombies in here. Easy enough. Let's get this thing filled up, and then we'll get our last part for the neutralizer. Then we should be able to pick up all of our crystals. Uh, we're going to need a monkey bomb, though, because it's getting kind of crazy. I think we have all the crystals to make the crystal axe now. This is ridiculous, the amount of zombies spawning in here. I'm glad I'm doing this part solo, though. Because it's a nightmare trying to get everybody to hit the button at the same time on all these silos. Gets a little crazy trying to do it over like voice chat or something. I think we did it. We got it. I will be taking that. And I think we need to go back to the other area of the map to build this. And then we can start picking up those crystals. Yeah, I think we put it together right here. Oh no, additional parts required. Maybe not. I think we need to fill it up before we start putting it together, actually. Let's see if our little crystal is still here. Nope, it's gone. Cool. It despawned. And we still have our, our crystal shard that we can turn into it. We just need an abomination now. Kind of wish I wouldn't have done this out of order because I don't know if the abomination is going to spawn now that the crystal's not here. I guess I have my shard. Let's let's try to go to another crystal and see if one spawns. All right, orbs. Time to go. That's one orb. That's two. We just need the last one. There we go. That's all three. Now we should be able to break it. Beautiful. And an abomination spawned. That's what I like to see. Just need you to yell for me, please. Come on, I know you want to. Just scream. Open your mouth. There we go. Enjoy. All right, now you can die. Night, night. I'll be taking that. We just need a few more. Come on, dude. We don't got all day. There you go. Enjoy. Now, we kind of just need you to die. There you go. Let me pick up my crystal, please. 
And we just need one more. But unfortunately, we can't force a spawn because we already broke that crystal. So uh, maybe we'll just get lucky or something. Now we just got to hold out hope for an abomination to spawn. But just like the crystal axe, now that we need it, it's not going to spawn in. So uh, might as well try to get some crits while we wait for it. So much for doing this Easter egg on an earlier round. It always ends up being a late round for me. Oh, wait, no. There's, a, there's an abomination right there. And we're all done with our jackrabbit camos. Open your mouth, you bastard. There we go. Eat up. No, I missed. Are you fucking kidding me? There's always something with me. There we go. Let's get him out of here. Layway. I'll be taking that. And let me double check that this doesn't end the Easter eggs when I build this. All right, good thing I looked because it will start up the Easter egg or at least give us the option to. I kind of want to get this pack a punch three first. We're only at pack one with it. And I want to get a little bit closer on our camo progress. Oh, there's our banished camo. We're all done with our crits. So we just need pack-a-punch kills with this gun now. And then we're done. Always a rare occurrence getting the crits done first. But that's what uh, Onslaught will do for you. And we finally got enough. So let's get this pack three. And go ahead and start up this boss fight. Let's put this together. Zombie doesn't need you guys to get the fuck off me. Oh, it's warming up, of course. They're breaking through. Damn right we're breaking through, pack. All right, let's move in. Sorry, zombies. You're not coming with us. This is such a sick part of the map, dude. I kind of wish you could use this map without having to do like, or this part of the map without having to do like the Easter egg. And kind of crazy how we went and collected all those crystals just for it to only be enough to get us like what? 20, 30 yards. And then we have to go break all these crystals and collect more. Like, this is just so unnecessary. Oh, and there's Gold Viper. We got it. Just steps before the boss fight. Now we got nothing to lose. I mean, besides the Easter egg. But don't got to worry about any camos. We're just a nut hair away from having our super Easter egg done. Okay, so let's uh, repair our armor. Maybe grab some ammo. Never mind, I'm broke. A little loose change, I guess. Because we're full on our perks. Our weapon's fully leveled up. Both weapons are pack three. I guess maybe I could grab a uh, Semtex. And I guess there's nothing left to do but fight this boss. What's going on, Foreskin? What's up, Maxis? Now we need to have Maxis fill up all these cannons. So we need to get kills in her ring of fire. So zombies, come on under. Let's fill this up. There we go. Essence level's full. So this gun should be filled. And then do we, if we fill this up, will she go fill up the other gun for us? I really got to pay attention to the Forsaken attacking, too. I don't want to get one-shotted by him. Okay. Essence level's full. She's filling up the other cannon. Now we just need to break off his little crystals on his shoulders here. That's barely doing anything. Come on. Bust wide open for me. Almost there. Oh, it is broken. Let's hop in the laser cannon. Use it. There we go. Eat it, bitch. That's one arm down. Ooh, I do not want to be get getting hit by these spy kids ass spiders. Fuck off. Let's get our, our, our gun filled back up so we can shoot them again. We already have one cannon filled, but I want to make sure that we can go for the kill shot when we need it. This fight's so much more stressful than I remember. It's honestly like easy compared to Legion. But there's just so many moving parts. There's a lot to keep track of. Okay, both cannons are now full. Let's go ahead and break his other shoulder. Oh, nope. He's about to fucking laser us. Come on. Go ahead and break. Very close. Got it. This cannon's got to be full. Let's use it. Eat it, motherfucker. That's two arms down. Oh, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but I'm scared. Oh! You are so eager to stop me. Oh, shit. Would you like to see how that story ends? Oh, yeah. This is the part where everyone was saying the, the Forsaken's prophecy has come true. Because Weaver's dead. Strauss is probably dead. Gray's dead. Everybody's fucking dead. Even you, Carver. Oh, what is this? Look at his little noodle arms. His little tentacles. Oh, shit. I should have made fun of the tentacles. That shit looks like it hurts. Stop it. Okay, Panzer. I don't got time for you. Let's get a cannon filled up just in case we need it. Max is kind of having us fill it up in the worst spot possible, though. Right in front of the dude. Come on. Break open. There we go. Hop on. Eat shit. Is this the final kill shot? Or do we need to do it again? No, we need to do it again. I think it's on his head now. Come on, buddy. Let's take that hat off of you. Oh, 
just trying to take my hat off. Relax. All right. There we go. It's busted. Later, bitch. This should be it right here. And the Forsaken has been fucking killed. Suck my dick, Foreskin. Actually, is that not it? What are all these crystals? Oh, no. Is this the fake out? Oh, no. We're going to go down anyways. Oh, wait. Do I not have a self-revive? Oh, fuck. Okay, it was a fake out. Thank God. I would have been so mad if I went down and lost it right at the end there. Talk your shit, Maxis. I'm not a bad person, Weaver. I am a good soul. Sure. I know what I have to do. Whatever gets you through it. I'm sorry. This is the only way. Fuck him up. Right into his front hole and the four ussy. But there we go. Every single Easter egg has now been completed. From Outbreak to every round base map. All done. Now get in your fucking Pokeball. And stay there until we figure out what happens after this game. The world's largest cashmere. I don't understand why she had to go into his bussy. What do we get out of that? Now the mission is complete. All the outbreak zones gone. Weaver is pleased. But this is so eerie with no audio. There's absolutely no music for this because they, they completely copyright struck me or, or claimed me last time I watched this. So now we just have to watch in silence. See you later, Rabinov. See you on MW3. Entity acquired all breaches sealed. Maxis locked in the Dark Aether. She's no longer part of Proje Project Anus. Divert strike team to Black Site 13. I will shut down Requiem. Our agents in Weaver will be arrested or something like that. I couldn't read the whole thing fast enough, but Gray, incarcerated. Carver, also getting locked up. Strauss, the only one fighting back, even though he's 80 years old. Guess what? To the slammer with you. And as for Raptor 1 in Requiem, also going to jail. Imagine arresting that dude, though. Crazy ass zombie looking, man. Sorry, Weaver. You gotta go, too. I don't know how they're gonna explain, like, who Requiem was or, like, the, the four operators that went in and did everything. Because it's all just random operators. And I wonder if we'll see more of the director or if his ass will be dead, too. So long, Eddie. Still kind of crazy. Oh, and then the my least favorite part. Five years later. I need to rent a boat. Where Darth Peck over here wanting to rent a boat. Are you sure? There's nothing there. What is it you are looking for? I'm looking for some old friends. He's all kinds of fucked up. I still wonder what they're going to do. The story definitely will continue, but I wonder if they're going to show like, oh, like little hints of what happens in the next game in MW3 since it's way in the future. And then the next Treyarch game will take place right after Cold War and then we'll see what happens there. I don't know, but I'm kind of excited to see how the story progresses. But also flawless, no downs, never been down in my life, actually. And let's take a peek at our after action report. So we got Gold Viper, all of our camos for the AK. Got our main quest done. Oh, and we won't get all of our other calling cards till we actually activate the Super Easter Egg. Let's go do that. And I know some people out there still don't know how to activate the Super Easter Egg or whatever. Just as long as you got all the Easter Eggs done, come on over to Zoo in Outbreak. It's a lot easier to find if you just do like Outbreak Collapse and you can vote for your map. And then you just got to make your way all the way over to these hills on the outskirts and head up to these pillars over here. If they're all lit up, that's how you know you got all your Easter eggs done. And let's go ahead and activate our super Easter egg once and for all. Make the pact. Now my starting weapon rarity has increased to level three, which is the purple rating. Now lift me up. Look how sick this looks. Such a cool way to activate a super Easter egg. And now we have made the pact. It's going to show us our, our pact for each map that we've done. So we did D Machina, Firebase C, Mauer, Forsaken. Ruka and Sanatorium. I might have missed one in there because they're flying by pretty fast. But let's get out of this game. Now we got all these zombie emblems of basically every character that pops up on a little radio, which is pretty cool. Obviously, besides this one. And I like how there's two Rabinovs, but not two pecs. Would be cool to have an eye patch peck just to remember that his ass got 
his shit gouged out. And just to make sure it worked, let's go ahead and see if we start out with an epic rarity weapon. Oh, let's fucking go. So much time is going to be saved and so much more damage is going to be dealt now that we got this. I'm so glad we finally got that completed because it's going to make this grind way more smooth. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Make sure you guys leave your suggestions down below. Now Easter eggs are open back up. So I'll be taking any Easter egg suggestions if you want me to do it while doing a certain weapon. But thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.